So it appears that Flynn Downs has rejected the opportunity to go to Southampton. Fair, fair play to him. I, I don't have a problem with that at all. I've got to be consistent. I've always said all the way down the years, I don't know why more footballers don't make a decision for themselves and their families rather than just a footballing decision. You, you've got to sort of weigh it up. We've just seen the same thing with Declan Rice. I've no doubt that Declan Rice's best football move was to go to Manchester City. I, I don't know if that's going to play out in, I guess we'll only know in three or four years' time. I suspect in the next three or four years, Manchester City win more trophies than Arsenal. That's not a great, <laughs> the greatest prediction in the world. I'm sure a lot of you would probably agree with that. So I think that was probably his best footballing move. In the same way that I think probably Harry Kane's best footballing move, bearing in mind he hasn't won a trophy yet, unlike us, we've won a trophy, Harry Kane's best footballing move probably would be to go to Bayern Munich, actually. And if you remember, Declan Rice was linked with Bayern Munich, but it wasn't something that was ever put through, because he wanted, basically Declan Rice wanted to stay uh, in in London, well, in, in Surrey and Cobham, he had had his had a house uh, recently built. I think um, a lot of his family are involved in that. He's very close to his family. He's got a young daughter. All of those, all of those things. So it became the obvious decision for him. Do I go for football and go for the best team and then leave my family home? Or do I go for a team who are not quite as good as the best team, but, you know, stay near my family and make what is, in essence, a family decision? Fair play to him. Don't blame him for doing it. Surprise more. Don't. Flynn Downs, as I understand it, and I don't know, I'd love, I'd love, do you know what? I'd love to, I'd love to know Flynn Downs' thoughts just on his time at West Ham. Because I, if I was Downs, I think I would feel a little bit let down uh, by what's happened at West Ham, it has to be said. Bear in mind, he is a West Ham fan. But anyway, as I understand it, he, um, He's got a house, got a new house in Brentwood, something like that. He signed for West Ham. He was very, very excited. It was, I think it was suggested to him that, that he was the future, that there was going to be a, a lineage, there was going to be a pathway uh, into regular first team football. And uh, you know what? He bought a house back then. I, I don't know. If, I don't even know if Flynn Downs has got children, but let's, let's imagine he does or he's his family and everything was sort of set up there. And then immediately, within a year, West Ham are saying, can we use you in part exchange? Do you fancy going down to the South Coast? And there's nothing wrong with the South Coast. I love the South Coast, by the way, but I don't blame Flynn Downs thinking, hold on a second. You know, sort of, I don't know, it's two and a half, three hours away from Essex, isn't it? Uh, Southampton. I don't, I don't blame him if he'd... Do you know what? No, I don't I don't want to. And fair play to him. Why should he be the make weight in any deal? Well, what I do think that does is... I, I really hope that, that David Moyes doesn't get bitter with, with that and sort of punish Flynn because I, I, I believe Flynn Downs deserves a chance as much chance as Thomas Suchek to play for West Ham next season now don't get me wrong I'm not naive if West Ham were to sign Ward Prowse and Gallagher and uh, McTominay I, I don't I don't think he's getting in but as it stands at the moment in the team to, to start the season there were times last season when Flynn Downs was better than Thomas Suchek and it was Thomas Suchek. Even if Thomas Suchek would make eight passes in a game, yes, it happened, uh, Thomas Suchek would still get in in the next game. So, I mean, honestly, Flynn Downs could play man of the match in Europa League. Um, Thomas Suchek could make less than 10 passes and Thomas Suchek would still get the place for the next game. So, I just wonder if Flynn Downs rejecting this opportunity to go down to Southampton is going to cost him in terms of his chances with the team. I certainly hope not. We need... Well, number one, it's not like we need West Ham fans, but I do think they're good to have around the club. I certainly do know we do need one thing, and that is to have homegrown players. I think that's important as well. You sign McTominay and, and Gallagher and Ward Prowse or whatever, or even just two of those, then I guess that mitigates that particular problem, doesn't it, in, in regard to uh, having homegrown players. But, but, but I hope so, and I, and I hope there's still an opportunity there uh, for Flynn and um, anyway just thought it was it was quite an interesting one but fair play to him also let's be fair fair play to um, to the board for back in David Moyes for a player that he really wants as a case they probably would have liked to offset about 10 million I guess would that have been it 10 million um, would they value Flynn Downs at that and then give Southampton 15 million something like that I, I don't know for Ward Prowse they've stumped up the cash anyway and I did think it was important that, as I've said on numerous occasions that you do back back the manager with at least one player but I, the list of targets whilst I don't mind I'm going to do a separate video uh, actually in regard to my opinion on on them as players and us bringing them in and, and maybe even just welcoming 
uh, the players as fans. But um, I, I'm not I'm not overwhelmed uh, by by all of the uh, targets. Let's put it that way. But I did feel it was important that that David Moyes was given a player or two. But I'm a little bit concerned that it might have gone too far the other way. In my mind, it was maybe Moyes picks one player, one senior player, and then and then maybe Tim Steidson can select three that might be sort of a red, number one ready now, but improve in the future. It looks to me as if David Moyes is going to get to select all of these players. And you know what? You can play a little game with it, actually. And that, that little game is uh, guess who picked the player. And it is just a guessing game because we don't know. And I started doing it yesterday and I thought, oh, hold on a second. So, James Ward-Prowse. <laughs> the, ga the game is called Steiton or Moyes. Um, James Ward-Prowse, Moyes. Scott McTominay, uh, Moyes. Uh, Dennis Sicaria. Oh, OK. OK, that's, that's a tough one. But I'm going to go with Steiton for that one. Uh, now, obviously, we've not signed any of these players, so this, uh, this game only really becomes relevant uh, if we sign any of these players. Conor Gallagher. I'm going with Moyes on that one. I, I do remember he's very impressed with him. Uh, I, I keep referring back to that brace he scored against us. But that counts. That's an important thing. If you're a football manager, that's the one time you don't have to scout players. That's the one time that you are stood on a touchline watching them. And if they're inflicting damage in your team, I'm pretty sure it gets stored and registered up there. So, uh, yeah, so that, that's, that's basically what, what I think about that one. Um, Alvarez. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Steiton on that. I, I don't know. I am just guessing. Uh, Gorgeous Borges. Who is so quick. He is so quick. I really I, I, uh, I love I love a bit of pace. Right. I think we're a slow team. We are. We have to be. I think we're the, we might. I think we might be the slowest team in the Premier League. I think we might be the slowest team and we're the second oldest. Um, that Yeah. In fact, we might even be the oldest now because we've sold uh, it was us and Fulham. Fulham had the oldest team. We had the second oldest. We've sold Declan Rice, which will, won't do much for our, our, our average age, will it? But then again, they've re-signed Willian again for another season. I don't know. I th I'm pretty sure we're the slowest team and the, and the second oldest. I think I'm pretty safe. Uh, I won't be far off with either of those things. So I thought we needed pace in the team uh, for a long time. Um, oh, gorgeous Borges. He is... He's quick. He's quick. I don't know how, how quickly you'd get into the team, but he's quick. I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, but who's who is he? Is is he is he Steiton or is he Moyes? I think he's neither, because it, it, it is clear, and this has been confirmed as well that we were scouting him and we were in for him before Steiton came in. Also, sometimes you just got to use the evidence that's in front of you, and that is the well, he's from Man City's academy, and you know, so was Rob Newman. And if we were scouting him and we were interested in him before Steiton came in, then Rob Newman's director uh, or head of recruitment, whatever. Actually, no director. He's not, he's not a director, but he's head of recruitment at that point. And you've got to look at it and you think, well, hold on a second. Maybe, just maybe, that's Rob Newman. It's, it's hard. It, it, well, it's, a, it's a silly little game. We'll never know. It's easy to, to pick your way through it. But as I say, we've been doing it for a long, long time. Who signed us a D-op? You know, all, all that sort of thing. Uh, who signed Ben Rama? Was it David Sullivan or was it David Moyes? We, we've been doing it for a long time. And I, and I think the fact that we have these uh, these silly games, well, I'm, t <laughs> I'm not accusing you of it. It's me doing it. I think probably indicates quite how much uh, lack of clarity there is in how the clubs run. Not just now, but historically as well. We, we, we've been doing it historically. Since we were doing it historically, we've got a direct, we've got a recruitment head of recruitment and now we've got a director of football and you know what we're still doing it we still don't know who's signing uh these players i, I didn't want to go too much into it look there's a story there's this rumor doing the rounds that Steiton uh, might leave i think you know I, I, what i didn't want to do is leave with some video saying Steiton will leave because he's not allowed to get involved in transfers i, I really hope that's that's not the case and uh, somebody made a really good point um a couple of days ago on a video and they said, do you not think that if Steiton was going to come into the club that his agents would have asked for reassurances and he would have had a clearly defined role within the club? I, I do. That that makes absolute common sense to me uh, that, that they would do that. Um, unfortunately, what it doesn't rule out is I always assume incompetence before I assume conspiracy. So I think it's far more believable for me that West Ham aren't very good at something 
than uh, than actually there's this big conspiracy going on. I, I think in my mind that maybe maybe David Sullivan is just conflicted. Maybe he thinks he wants a director of football and he does and he just says yes to him. But actually he really likes David Moyes as well and he just says yes to him as well. And maybe they just both get a yes. Maybe David Moyes turns around and says, can I, I'm, I'm in charge of player recruitment. David Sullivan says, of course you are, David. You won, us the, um, you won us the old conference league, didn't you? Of course you are. And obviously David Sullivan's looked at the Brighton uh, model and the way they do things and the data-led approach. And I, I, look, I guess he's been recommended, Tim Streiton. I understand there's a conspiracy that it might well be the next owner of, of parachuted Streiton in place. It's very complicated. I'm not saying that's not the case, but I would generally go to the more, what I think is a more realistic one too, and that is that actually David Sullivan probably seen his shiny new thing. He likes that. He's brought him in. And when, and when Tim Streiton said, am I all right? Am I all right to do recruitment, David? And David Sullivan said, yeah, of course you are. And it basically, he's saying, of course you are to two different people. Again, I, I, I would assume incompetence on David Sullivan's part before I, um, before I go to the more complicated stuff, which may or may not be true. But I do think that when you look at it, if we are going to bring in Connor Gallagher and we are going to, or whatever, McTominay and James Will Prowse, it's hard to look at those two players and think that they are, they're, they're Tim Stuyton players. Because, sorry, I didn't do McTominay, did I, in a little game? McTominay, Stuyton, or Moyes, it's David Moyes. Of course it is. So, I think it's, it's, it's a little, it's a little bit odd. I mean, this is this is just my views on them and how they're coming in as players and how we might recruitment recruit them and of course fling downs. But it does look like now, I should probably say that, at the point of recording this video, which is early Wednesday morning, it does look like I mean Jacob Steinberg said that talks are advanced uh for uh James Will Prowse and a player wants to come to West Ham. And that's that's him wanting to come to West Ham is a good thing. To, we for too long we chase players who don't want to come. So, look, I guess he wants to come. As I made the case yesterday why I think West Ham is probably a better fit for him um, than Fulham. And I understand why he would want to come. I think, you know, of many of the managers in the Premier League, David Moyes probably suits him uh, better than most. In, in terms of him being a player and, you know, the, the sort of player we, we want, well, look, I'll deal with that in... Um, in a video tomorrow because I do think there's a lot of other news which is going to unfold today. If the news is correct that we have bids in for six players, then uh, then I guess, look, I, I guess something's going to move relatively quickly. Some of them are going to be rejections. Some of them are going to be players saying no. The I don't know. The, the fee for McTominay seems so high. I'm digressing into other, other stuff now. This will all be dealt with over the next two or three days. Uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow.